hello everyone and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix how to fix sons of the forest is having crashing issue not launching freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck on loading screen black screen and all these kind of issues which is happening for many of the users right now so how are we going to fix this so uh, let's move to the workaround so the first one what we have to do is just have to do is just have to do a simple restart try this sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue so for that reason we have to go over here you know you all be knowing this but even i have to show you just go over here in the start click on this icon go for the restart then try to play the game and this is about the restart as a basic step move to the next one is all about we have to verify integrity of game file so verify integrity of game file is all about you know uh, if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step for that reason we have to go to the game over here right click and go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file when you click on this as you can see this will be going through all the files of the game and they will be checking from their end if the files are corrupted if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be checked from this end and you have to wait for un uh, until this reach 100 percentage after that try to play the game and this did work for many users as well so this is a very important step and you should not be neglecting this and you can try this definitely for sure next one is all about after trying this we have to move to the next step next step is all about we have to give few commands in the launch option so launch options can be found we just have to follow the instructions so you have to give the command that is dx11 dx12 and you can try with d3d2 because d3d2 did work for many users as well so the next step is all about for going to the launch option you have to click over here go to properties over here as you can see this is the launch option so by default this is how it looks like there is no command but we have to give the command so first thing is all about we have to give the command that is dx d11 you have to try with this command give this command and try to play the game and if this is not working we have to go for next one that is dx 12 you have to give this command and try to play the game so you try it with both the dx11 and dx12 and both the commands if are not working then we just have to try with the new command this did work and i found this on reddit so i have i want to share it over here you have to give the command that is d3 d2 when this particular command has been implemented and this did work for many of the users so you just have to give this command and you have to try to play the game so you try it with all the game that is dx11 dx12 d3 d2 you try it, all these things and even if it's still not working and the issue is still persisting over there then i request you can keep every you can you can remove everything and keep it nil like this then once after that you can try to play the game and that is going to work as well moving to the next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder so this did work for many of the users as well so we can navigate to the installation folder in two way one is from steam very easily we can navigate to it another one is by navigating to the file explorer so i'll show you both so first one to navigate into the uh, installation folder just click on this right click and go to properties over here go to local file click on browse when you click on browse you are very easily redirected to where the game is installed as you can see the path of the file is this pc local c program file x86 steam steam apps common sun of the forest now over here this is the application so you just have to right click this one and over there you just have to launch the game from here itself this is about how to launch the game so try launching the game from here itself parallelly there is one more thing that i would like to add but before that i would like to show you what if if you wanted to navigate to the game over here like what if if you wanted to navigate to the game going to the file explorer over here so that can be done very easily so all the games which i download from the steam will be by default downloaded over here in the local disk c so i just have to click on local disk c where the game is installed then i have to go to program file x86 i have to scroll down and navigate to steam over here then i have to go to steam apps then i have to common then i just have to go to over here to the game which is over here sun of the forest then i have to select this one and try to launch the game from here itself this is about this one next one is all about we have to grant the game as an administrator that can be done very easily so over here for this just right click go to properties and over here go to local file click on browse and you are redirected to this 
Now from here, just select this one, right click and go to show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility. Over here, as you can see, run this program as an administrator is unchecked. So you just have to select this one that is run this program as an administrator. And once it is checked, you have to go for apply and go for OK and try to launch the game. And that is going to work as well. Next one is all about you can also try with this also this did work it. So this is actually a, like a compliment that I'm giving you this did work for a few users. Just navigate to the compatibility and there is an option called disable full screen optimization, right? So you have to do this also. Sometimes when you do it, this did work, try with this. If it's not working, let's remove everything. So go for disable full screen optimization, then go for uh, apply and go for OK. Then close everything and try to launch the game. And that is going to work as well. Next one is all about we have to run the game or dedicate a graphics card. This did work for a few users, so I'm going to show you. For over here, we have to go to search and we have to search for graphic setting. We have to search for graphic settings. Click on this one. So over here, as you can see here, there are many games which I am already added. So over here you can see I've already added many games. So in the same way, we have to add it. So click on browse. Now we have to navigate to the game installation folder. That is why in the previous steps, when I am mentioning about how to launch the game from installation folder, I did mention how you can navigate to the uh, same location by navigating via file explorer because we need this somehow down the road so just again i'm implementing this once again click on local c go to program file x86 scroll and navigate to steam folder over here we have to go to steam go to steam apps select common now from here we have to go over here to sun of forest then click on this one add this and now when you add it with the sun of the forest click on options and over here as you can see by default this being set into let windows decide so this particular thing is causing many issues including the crashing and all those things so that is why i'm recommending you again and again you have to change this to let windows decide into high performance because that is how it's going to work because here we are going to utilize the respective nvidia geoforce rtx which is going to make it happen so here you have to click on high performance then you just have to go for save and once it is done you just have to go back go back to the game and try to play it and that is going to work as well next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file over here if you go to the file explorer you can see that on this pc not on this pc if you go to the documents here you can see the folder regarding the sun of forest so if the folder is there so you just have to delete it so that you will be losing everything when you do this but keep in mind this is very important step and this did work out for many of the users as well so you have to try with this so uh, next one is all about you have to try with the next step that is all about you have to allow the game to window security that can be done very easily for that you just have to go over here in the search go for control panel you have to search for control panel click on this one now from here you have to go to over here just have to change this okay now if it is like this change to large icons to avoid the confusion then just click on windows defender firewall now from here click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here you have to check whether the sun or forest is already added hence it is an alphabetical order just have to scroll down and navigate to s so keep scrolling and you can check over here the sun of the forest is being added so what if, if this is not added so if this is not added we have to add it manually so you just have to click on allow another app go to browse go to this pc go to local c now from here go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now go to common select over here sun or forest now from here go to this one and add it so now if i add it i'll be getting the error because it's already added so over here you have to make sure the sun of the forest under here private and public both these things should be checked that is private and public should be checked this is very important step and once it is done that is it is checked you just have to close everything go back to the game and try to play it and this is what you have to do next one is all about what we have to do is we just have to install graphics card which is an important step for sometimes when to run the game this is uh, all about when you're running the games like Sun of Forest and all those things which is quite heavy and need the graphics 
we have to install uh, the graphics card. So that I'll be providing link in the description for few over here for both the NVIDIA as well as for the NVIDIA, sorry for the AMD. So if you're on the NVIDIA, when you click on this link in the description, that will take, in, take you to this. And over here, if you go to the drivers, so what happen is you just have, you can see here, the product type is GeForce, product series is GeForce RTX 14 series, and the product is GeForce RTX and operation system is Windows. Over here, I have to select Windows 11 because I'm on Windows 11. And once you select this one, you just have to go to game windows over here and just have to go to English and go for start search. Over here, as you can see, when you click on search, it is 5, version 5.28.49. And this has been released on this month on 8th of the February. And we have Windows 10 64 to support it as well as on Windows 11. And now over here, as you can see, it is on English US and it is around 814.59 MB. So what we have to do is we just have to download and install this okay so just download and install this after this try to restart then after starting uh, restarting try to play the game and that is going to work as well so what if we are on the amd if you're on the amd you have to click on this particular link go to graphics over here you have to select everything go for submit and when you go for submit as you can see we'll be getting option for windows 11 64 bit windows 10 64 bit so you have to select windows 11 over here then try to download this one and if you're on Windows 10, try to download this one and install the respective Adrenaline version. And that is what you have to do. Going to the next one is all about, we have to install uh, Microsoft Visual C++. This is an important step. So for few users, when they did Microsoft Visual C++, this did work for many users. So you can try this out as well. So I'm gonna give a link which is correct one. This particular link is ex expired, I think, or it's having some issue. So when you click on the respective link to install the Microsoft Visual C++, uh, you have to go over here. As you can see, we are having two options. So first thing is we need to check which one is our configuration. So over here, we have to go to the settings. Now go to settings and open this one. Now from here, scroll down over here under system. Just have to scroll down and select above. Over here, as you can see, I, it is very uh, visible that the system type is 64-bit operating system, x64-based processor. Now, what we have to is just have to go to the link. Now, from here, you have to download and install this one. So, if you're on 86, download and install this one. So, here I'm on 64, so I have to download and install this. After installing this, try to play the game. And sometimes it might ask for restart. You have to do a restart, then try to play the game. And that is going to work as well so this is what we have to do next one is all about we have to update the windows which is very important step for updating the windows just go over here go to settings now from here top bottom windows update and over here we have to check whether we are having any updates so if any updates are there just download and install this one so that is what we have to do so downloading and installing should work for many users as well and this is going to work for you as well so you have to update it and that is an important step as well next one is all about you have to try with disconnecting the multiple monitors if it's already connected when some of you might be trying to play the game with multiple monitors connected so if that is the case you have to disconnect everything i mean disconnect multiple monitors which is causing the issue that is very important step as well so that did work when some of the users try this out and this did work and next one is all about we have to disable i mean you have to completely do this that is we just have to do is you just have to close unnecessary tasks which is running in the background. For example, when you're trying to play this game, there are many things which is draining out your performance. For example, if you go over here in the search or you start and go to task manager over here, so it is quite visible as it is. Now, as you can see, there are these things are running in my background, which I'm using right now currently. But apart from there are 80 thing, 83 apps which is running in the background. I mean, which is draining out a lot of performance. So especially apps like Discord, and you know, uh, Riva Tuner, LG Hub, etc. They drain out a lot of performance. So what we have to just have to set the respective one, go for N task one by one. So if you found anything like Riva Tuner and all those things, if anything is draining out your performance, you have to do the same. And that did work for many of the users as well. Next one is all about, we have to disable Steam overlay, which is an important step which you have to try out. For that, we have to go over here in the Steam and you have to go to right click and go to properties. For disabling the Steam Overlay under general, we have to make sure that enable the Steam Overlay is unchecked. So that is very important step you have to try out. So disabling the Steam Overlay did work. So you have to try this out. 
so that is an important step so if it's enabled you have to disable this and you have to try to play the game as well next one i would like to make a notice as well if you know uh, the steam input i mean disabling the steam input enabling steam input did work for some users as well so i'm going to show you that also so just go to the controller go to this so try with first one enable steam input enable the steam input and try to play the game if this is not working just change this to disable steam input and try to play the game so if you try with both the enabling steam input and disabling steam input it's not working then we just have to keep this to use default setting as it is then close everything and try to play the game and this is going to work as well next one is all about and the last and the least one is all about we have to increase virtual memory that is going to work as well for that reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go to view advanced system setting now from here we have to go to advanced go to settings go to advanced once again and over here we have to click on change over here under virtual memory automatically manage paging file size for all drivers if it is selected we are having the trouble like we are not able to select the local disk where the game is installed so you have to make sure you have to deselect this i mean uncheck this and make sure you have to select the local disk where the game is installed so over here in my case i'm only having local disk c so i don't have to select any other disk and this is where the game is installed so i have to click on this one and once it is done click on custom size and over here initial size is what we have to give the value as well as what maximum size so initial size is always 1.5 times the total ram and maximum size is 3 times the total ram so first thing i i need to know what is my ram for that reason i have to click on settings then i have to go to system now from here i have to scroll down and navigate to about now from here i need to know what is my ram so over here as you can see my ram is 32 gb so this is my ram so 32 gb is my ram and i need to know this so 32 gb is my ram so you have to check so because some people keep on asking the questions why you why did you multiply with 32 gb so that is why i'm asking so 32 gb is my ram so you have to find what is your ram sometimes it might be 2 4 8 16 etc so you have to based on this we have to do the calculation so over here we need a calculator so just search for a calculator so because we need to do a conversion so right now i came to know that my gb is 32 g my ram is 32 gb so first thing i have to write 32 gb then i have to convert this 32 gb into mb for that i have to multiply it with 1024 that is a conversion value now i got the value 32768 so 32 gb is 32768 is the correspondent conversion value now i have to multiply it with 1.5 times because initial size is 1.5 times the total ram so initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so i have to do the conversion once again that is 32 gb into 1024 32 is my ram i have to multiply it with 3 because my conversion uh, my maximum size is 3 times the total ram so i have to copy paste this over here then i have to go for ok then go back to the steam try to play the game and that is going to work as well then also i would like to add we have to install uh, this one media pack this did work it for many users so over here i'll be providing this link in the description so if you're on uh, windows 11 you have to download it from here itself so if you don't know how to download for windows 11 or how to add it just follow the instruction over here we have to go to search go for setting then we have to go to apps then we have to go over here i think we have to go to uh, over here you have to go to settings apps apps and feature so we have to go to apps and feature okay so just click on optional features now from here there is an option for add an optional feature click on this one and over here if you downloaded the media pack you just have to search for media pack and you have to add it once you successfully added it just close everything restart your pc and go back to the game and try to play this so the these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out when you are having an issue with sun of the forest crashing not launching or uh, it is freezing and stuttering stuck on loaded screen low fps drop black screen issue and all those things and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye bye